Melvin got it right. Third it is. Get in. Lingard wins us Champions League football. Yes, come on. Shit game, I don't give a fuck. 2-0. We finished third in the Premier League. Now we can build on this. Now we can compete for the title next season, assuming that we do get Jadon Sancho and a couple of other signings. But yeah, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We can actually enjoy the Europa League. Um, yeah, just, oh, thank fuck for that. Yes, I'm a little bit drunk, of course. Uh, you know, it was nerve-wracking as hell. Chelsea were 2-0 up at half-time against Wolves. So, uh, we needed to, to win to finish third. We needed to draw to finish fourth. But yeah, we finished third. And I said this back in February or March, whenever it was. Um, I think I tweeted it then. And then in a video uh, for the first game back, which would have been June. Was it June? But yeah, whatever that was, I said we would finish third. And I've been proved right. And I'm so, so happy because at the start of the season, we were shit. We, uh, ESPN had banter videos about would we get relegated because we were 15th at one stage. Um, there was one stage in the season where we were 15 points behind top four. And yeah, we've managed to claw it back. And that's thanks to Bruno Fernandes as Monks. A lot of other players, of course, Martial, Rashford, Greenwood, Pogba, they've all been pivotal in this uh, this late run-in. But yeah, also, shout out to Harry Maguire for uh, being the first player since Gary Pallister in 1994-95 to play every single Premier League game as an outfield player. Obviously, goalkeepers might have done that, but as an outfield player, Harry Maguire is the first player in 25 years to accomplish that. So, you know, he deserves respect considering he played with an injury for about two months. Um, he's had a couple of head injuries lately. But yeah, we finished third. Fantastic. Uh, of course, Penchester United get their 28th or their 21st uh, penalty of the season. I can't quite remember, but it's a blatant foul. You know, Leicester are just sloppy in possession, really. They pass it. We intercept. Bruno plays a lovely ball into Martial. He gets absolutely cleaved by two players. Wes Morgan, Johnny Evans, who got sent off. Oh, you couldn't write it. Lingard scores the last goal of our season. And Johnny Evans gets sent off. It's just perfect. It really is. But anyhow, um, yeah, he got a yellow card for that. Bruno steps up, plays, uh, you know... Scores the goal and then Lingard gets subbed on for Greenwood and in the 95th, 96th minute he scores. You know, he hasn't scored or assisted all season but yeah, Lingard scores to secure us Champions League football. You can't write it. I would say it's possibly his last game but I'm sure he'll play in the Europa League. Now, now we can enjoy that competition. We don't need to fret. We've got Champions League next year so we can go out, we can play the youngsters even though we already do. Um... Also, congratulations to Frank Lampard. Of course, he's finished fourth now at Chelsea. And yeah, they have Champions League and they can look forward to their FA Cup final. But yeah, this pessimistic bullshit that's happened over the last couple of, uh, couple of weeks because we've only had two days rest between every single game uh, for the last three or four games. Bore this one where we had three days rest. But yeah, our players have just not performed to 100% of their capabilities and it's not really surprising. But yeah... We can get to the Europa League final, of course. If we do, that means we've only got 22 days uh, until the start of the season, which is September the 12th, uh, if we do make the Europa League final. So, you know, now it's not really imperative that we do win that competition. Of course, I would love to. But yeah, it would be nice given the you know the key players, the, the Bruno, the Pogba, the Martial, Rashford, Greenwood, Maguire, Lindelof, uh, Wan-Bissaka. All of those are a rest. That would be great. Matic as well. And then play the second string squad. Like, Agarlo uh, deserves to play a few games now uh, up front. I'm sure Martial wouldn't begrudge him that now that we've got Champions League. Um, and, yeah, oh, just that theme. That theme, it's going to be so good hearing that next season. But, yeah, honestly, now we just need to get recruitment right. Of course, you know, we haven't been great in the last couple of weeks. But I do put that down to the limited rest periods that we have had. Um, we do need to bring in a couple of reinforcements, three or four players, to really push Liverpool and Manchester City for that title. And then, w w who knows? Like, at the end of the day, Chelsea finished 10th one season and then went out to win uh, the Premier League. And yes, they didn't have any European competition, so they could practically play their first 11 every single game. But, you know, the difference between points for a season doesn't really matter. It's, it's how you perform across the entire season, of course. So, you know, bridging this gap isn't as hard as people think, uh, is what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't matter how many points you win it by, you can always bridge it. Like, Chelsea, uh, sorry, City 
won it by quite a distance and then Liverpool within two years have obviously gone on and won it. So yeah, I'm rambling. Yes, I'm a little bit tipsy. Of course I am. I'm absolutely ecstatic that we finally got top three. And of course, you know, for you know, it's not our greatest achievement ever, but considering where we've been over the last few years, this is imperative. And you know, it's a brilliant finish for Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Ooh, I can't even say his name. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer to finish third in his first proper season in charge. Let's use this as a platform to actually propel and challenge for the main two trophies, which are the Champions League and the Premier League. But yeah, hopefully United fans can celebrate now, and any of the fake fuckers that you know are. Um, Love United, hate Glazer, can cry. Um, there, there are some, of course, that are actually behind that movement, but a lot of them are just pe like Mourinho performers that just... Uh, Mourinho performers? Mourinho fans that just don't care about United at all. So, yeah, hopefully they can cry in their beds while the actual United fans can be ecstatic and enjoy the Europa League. But anyhow, I'm going to let this go. <sighs> We're third. We're third. I got it right. We finished third. Get in. Champions League football next season. Let's go on and win the Europa League and make this a good, good year despite who won the league. Doesn't fucking matter. Let's do it.